Capital city of India. Air quality index above 400. 93 cities of India. In the top 100 most polluted cities of the world. Now, this is statistics which we should not and never be proud of. But at the same time, we have to be mindful of one fact. This pollution is killing all of us. It's gonna kill whether we are rich or poor. And that is why in today's video, we are going to look at pollution from a biotech perspective. The aim of this video is to inspire most of you to come into pollution control using biotech solutions and to reach to the masses with your solution, create an impact, solve a problem and earn a lot of money. Now, having said that, what is the current problem? The current problem is not that Delhi has crossed 400 in the air quality index. The current problem is not that 93 cities are the most polluted cities of the world. The current problem is we are not thinking it as a pandemic. The truth is pollution is the next pandemic. Now, having said that, if we all come together to come up with biotech solutions, we can churn out companies out of that. And those companies will not just save humans, increase their or elongate their longevity. It will create a sustainable earth for all of us to survive. And you, my dear friend, are capable of doing that. So no matter whether you are a student or a scientist or a research enthusiast or someone who is in the biotech uh, sector, trying to gain ground, it's time to start looking at pollution, the next big billion dollar business. Now, pollution is everywhere, right? Now, I remember when uh, COVID-19 hit our country and the world, we all said that six years, it'll take to develop one vaccine. But humans do things unthinkable. We had a vaccine in six months. What was supposed to take six years took six months. The same way. Why can't we all come together to find a solution to pollution? Delhi is choking, but very soon every city of the world will be choking. And that means your product, which you will create using your biotech knowledge, can actually solve multiple problems. It will keep the humans healthy. It will create a sustainable earth for all of us. But at the same time, it will attract a lot of government grants. You should be knowing that a lot of government bodies, including Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, one of the largest funding bodies for biotech in private sector, Government of India via BIRAC and various other departments are ready to fund you. So if you start a company or a product which arrests pollution in any form, whether it is air, water or land, anywhere, if you are able to arrest any kind of pollution, you have got funding, my dear friend, and that will run into crores. My aim here is to tell you that you can use AI to develop better solutions. So if you want to really work on some solutions, all you have to do is start talking to chat GPT and uh, start brainstorming, right? And then use the drone technology, Internet of Things, biosensors to monitor the environment. So if you remember during the COVID-19 pandemic, some people were monitoring how many cases were detected per day, right? The same way, what if we could create a world dashboard of prediction using AI so that we can predict where the air, water or ground pollution is going to increase or decrease? And what, what is the reason? Today's solutions are expensive, energy intensive, slow and non-environmental friendly. For example, the battery revolution. Now we have EVs. But do you think EVs are environment friendly? No, they're not. Using biotech, we can create microbes. Using AI, we can create microbes which can digest plastics. We can create enzymes which can break down industrial toxins. Companies are facing the heat from government. Why are they polluting the water bodies? So if you can create an enzyme which can break down the industrial toxins, well, every company will pay you. Then plants. You can create plants or you can find plants or you can engineer plants which can absorb heavy metals from the ground. Genetically engineered organisms can be created which can neutralize pollutants. So sky is the limit for a biotech professional. But the question is, are you going to be busy looking for a job or are you going to be busy 
looking for the next solution which the biotech industry and the world needs. Now, the best time to start a company is when you are still studying your degree. Okay. And while 40% of the world will face water scarcity, you would already have come up with a solution. You don't need a billion dollar investment to start a company or a, create a product in this pollution driven environment. All you need is a peaceful, calm mind focused on solving a problem. And student life is the best life, my dear friend. You will not believe that 9 out of 10 biotechies are right now thinking of a job. While at the same time, 9 out of 10 people are breathing unsafe air. So that one person who decides that no, my future generation is not going to breathe unsafe air is going to change the world. Now, are you that superhero of the Marvel Universe? Are you here to solve a problem or are you here to become a part of the problem? You have to decide. Farmlands are shrinking every day. The real estate cost is increasing. People are buying land and making buildings out of it. So don't you think agriculture is the next threatened field? which is actually 43% of India's economy, agriculture, the entire backbone of our economy is on threat because people are now converting agriculturable land into buildings. So what if you could create solutions so that in less farmland, more produce can happen? You could create plant which is climate resilient and hot weather resistant, drought resistant. What if you could create wastewater recycling plants which runs on engineered microbes and not energy intensive plants? What if you could create biofilters for industrial air emissions? Now, all of this is all this information, all this news is available free of cost on internet. And if you are having a peaceful mind, if you understand that this is where your future belongs, all you have to do is just go in. The next Google search can help you earn a billion dollars. Algae-based carbon capture systems. Last time I was told that uh, Reliance came up with Vantara. Why? Because they know that future they will be forced to have carbon capture uh, credits and that is where Vantara is going to help Reliance. The same way every company in the world will buy carbon capture credits. So you could be selling carbon capture credits. Just find out how to create that. Right. So you could be working on soil restoration microbes, you could be working on biofilters, you could be working on biosensors, you could innovate and do something and then Google and Microsoft will hire you because Google and Microsoft is working in this direction. You should know that Bill Gates is the biggest land owner in the United States of America. That means he owns the biggest tracts of land and he would love to hire you if you have solutions of any of these which I just spoke about. Biotech is here to support the chemical giants also. You see Novozymes, Duopond, BSF, uh, Carbios, all these are building massive teams which can work on enzyme engineering, bioprocess development, environmental genomics and you could be a part of these teams also. So it's not necessary to you know, uh, start your own company. Probably you could uh, just do the innovation, publish a paper and get a job in these companies. Bear, Monsanto, all of them will hire you because somewhere they also know that they and everybody is responsible. Big companies are responsible to keep the earth safe because their customers live on this planet. The new generation that is the Gen Z of today is going to create the new products of 2047. And that's you, my dear friend. Biodegradable plastics microbial factories for degrading microplastics and trust me i am ready to fund if someone has uh, some great idea on this now bio mining using bacteria to clean toxic mines algae based carbon capture farms synthetic microbes to clean rivers and lakes we have so much more which can be done now just look at the ai side of it you could create ai powered drones which would go and look in the riverbeds as well as on the river sides and clean up the shores of the sea. We can have bacteria which would clean up the oil spills, biotech driven sewage and wastewater plants, bio augmentation facilities, waste to fuel plants, soil restoration centers, microbial waste treatment units. Now these are just the beginning of the next revolution of the world. The next bioengineer is going to change the world and that is you. Now the question is how do you get started? Now there are various pieces of information available across the uh, internet including Biotechnica, you can read through those. 
for those who say that uh, we will go to the mars good luck to them but i believe that earth is our biggest asset and we must secure it we must nurture it and we must support it and if you are a planet enthusiast or an environmental enthusiast like me then come let's team up let's come together to save our mother earth because severe water pollution air pollution wastewater crisis soil contamination is impacting humanity every year 6 and a half lakh women die out of breast cancer just because of all this pollution and lifestyle changes what if you as a biotechy create a solution of the future using ai using bioinformatics using various other techniques and where you marry mechanical engineering electronics engineering biotech and create something massively important for humanity bill gates created microsoft elon musk created spacex what will you create my question is time has come start thinking in this direction the world is your canvas your ideas are going to grow if you pursue them your passion towards biotech has to translate into some life changing research for humanity so stop thinking that you are not good enough start thinking that how can you change the world one product at a time one research at a time one problem at a time signing off shekhar suman been a hope that some of you would do that all the best